Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time, we got pretty squeaky clean in the shower room. Got a lot of treasures. We're able to take out the raging bloister. And now we're going to do a little bit of cleanup of the perplexing pool. We're going to do all the overworld stuff today. Another overworld day. A little relaxing dip. And then we will prepare ourselves for the final dungeon of the perplexing pool. And that'll be it. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. If you have and you enjoy perplexing pools, consider liking the video, commenting if you haven't, subscribing for all the fun stuff or else it's good for you. I promise I'm not going to lead you wrong. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of a puzzle and we really only need blue Pikmin. And funnily enough, the upcoming dungeon that we're about to do, you only need blue Pikmin because you can only take blue Pikmin. So the area that we sort of opened up a little bit last time, which is to the, uh, towards the back of the perplexing pool, this is the area that we don't really go to very often. I don't think that we've really spent much time, if at all, in it, because you couldn't really do anything in it. But now that we are here, there's a wall that we have not taken down yet. Ooh, no, no. Get him. Oh, I killed one of them. Not cool. We have a nice amount of Pikmin. Get him. Oh, bother. Okay, so that's good. Only lost one Pikmin. But yeah, so this is the area that we haven't really done anything in. We've never really explored it. So the final sub area of the perplexing pool where the final above ground treasure resides. So we'll have our blue Pikmin slowly hack away at that wall. You can sort of see where we're headed over here. There's a couple of craw mads that'll pop out of those ground buttholes. We're not gonna be too worried about it. But yeah, this is the area before that. Um, I wanna say this is the glutton's kitchen. I think that's where this is. So we've already grabbed all the other treasures in this area. We just have to wait for the blue Pikmin to apparently take forever. Um, excuse me? There you go. That's one of the things that's annoying is these darker colored brown walls. They're a little bit hardier, harder to knock down, unfortunately. And I don't want to waste a spicy spray on it. If I have time, once I'm able to gather the final treasure, of this area, I'm probably actually gonna go and try to get more bitter spray because the upcoming dungeon that we have is actually kind of nasty in what we're gonna be dealing with. There's an unstoppable enemy, and that's not me joking. There actually is an enemy in that cave that you can't kill. So having the bitter spray is the only known way that I'm familiar with that you can take it down. So in the meantime, I think it's because I have the most blues right now. I'm going to grab the remaining crew that I have. And if we remember, over this bridge and far away, I think there are probably still Shearwigs that are going to pop up here. Yes, so make sure you kill them post haste. Get them real fast. There's a fire blowhog. It's kind of annoying, so it makes me regret the uh, blue choice here, actually. Let's go ahead and swap those out for reds. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess this doesn't matter, but... Everything is fine. Does this episode seem a little, uh... discombobulated, viewers? Sometimes I don't come into these with a plan. Like, I have a vague idea of what I'm supposed to do, but... That only goes so far. Yeah, I don't need... A ton of reds. I just, I'm only picking them because I know that the fiery blowhog is gonna annoy me to no end. And it's kind of interesting is the lack of flowered red Pikmin I have. I thought I would have had more than that, but apparently not. Nope, ignore that. We're actually here for the ground ball sack. That's our point of interest here. Along with killing the fiery blowhog in a, in a moment, the swooping snitch bug. That's going to really get under my skin. 
There we go. You picked the wrong Pikmin to mess with. That's Red Pikmin, boy. Okay, great. So, in the meantime, this is just one of the, the things about Pikmin 2 that's unfortunate, is there's no really good AI pathing for collecting the stuff. I don't know if AI pathing is the right thing. I just tried to sound really smart. I'm a programmer. Um, there's no real good AI to get the game to know that I want them to collect the berries, take them back to the onion or the ship or whatever, and then come back and then do it again. But it's apparently too much to ask for. All right, so with our very nice amount of blue Pikmin, this area kind of sucks because of all the uh, different roots and logs in the ground, but get him, get him. All right, so apparently did that very poorly. Okay, super cool. There's two Cromads here, which is very annoying, so taking out both of them is obviously important. If you can get yourself to their, bo their bottom before they get back into their little uh, hidey hole, that's good. These things aren't super tough to kill, but I am just very ill-equipped because I am not the smartest, so we got that going for us. But yeah, their HP is low, so at the very least, taking them out is important. We got another one here. Whoop. Okay, so he's gonna drag one of our boys back. Okay, super uncool. How dare you? Must be a vegetarian. All right. Maybe a pescatarian. Our blue Pikmin, do they taste like fish? All right, can you come out? I'm coming out. All right, get him. This is more just for peace of mind, to be honest. You don't need to kill them, but getting the treasure, which is over here, you can kill these boys too if you want. I'm probably gonna do that. Oh, there's a puppy blowhog, great. So yeah, killing these things really quickly helps. All right, that looked pretty good. So here's a puzzle um, and the eventual dungeon. We're not gonna do that yet. But uh, got a puppy blowhog. Just hanging out here, just being an absolute turd burglar. Would like my Pikmin to actually surround it. The more you can get onto its personage, the easier it'll be. And I believe this is the final treasure of this area. This one's a little weird. Um, so go ahead and throw one of your Pikmin onto the block. Have Olimar or Louie jump onto that one. Then with ever, whatever captain you don't have on that one, obviously, you're going to want to, I want to say throw two up here. Yes, okay. So now we can come over here and have Louie throw. Okay, very cool. Oh, apparently we don't. Okay, apparently we're not gonna get on that one. I think I've already goofed. All right, so let's try this again. Is it? All right, that looks right. There we go. I just kind of messed it up briefly. And then I think if we toss at least four or more to weigh this down. Very good. And then we can send, oops. Okay, well we need to weigh this one down quite a bit. So this is why you're gonna need a lot of blues. Always blues. You need quite a few on that one. And then with your remaining, oops, completely whiffed on that. Why are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Lewis, where are your throwing skills at? Get up there with, okay. <laughs> this is going, this is going swimmingly. I thought I'd be able to toss them up there. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we need some of the Pikmin to come down from here. Hop off that. Yes, okay, we'll try this first. Throw, I think it's 20, 22 or something like that. That looks good. And then we can throw the remaining onto this one. It's all about the order of operations, which apparently I am too ignorant to. All right, so we could just not fall off. Very good. Okay, here we go. And I think this is the, yes, yeah, so 20 was the right amount. Oh, nuts. I think that this is the, um, if I'm correct, which I am always correct. No, I'm kidding. Um, I think that's the, that's the final treasure 
And what is this? Is this underground nectar or underwater nectar? Yes. Okay, that's great. Um, we're actually not going to do the cave today because the last time I tried to do all of this in one day, this episode was like another hour long. And so I'm trying to be mindful of all y'all's time. Is this pointing me towards another? I think this is the only other treasure, right? What is it? Is it referring to the nut? Yeah, so they're going to take it that way. Um, I don't think there's anything super dangerous in this area, but... Now there's a snitch bug. Hold on a second. He's probably going to get in my business, isn't he? Well, how about this? Little sneak attack. Hit him with your sledge attack. All right. Dead. Very dead. Love that. And having the blue Pikmin, they should be able to take it up and around, bring it around town here. This is a little... Um, this is a little... I don't know if I'm actually going to have time to do this. Um... I kind of goofed on the, uh, I kind of goofed on, on the, whatever you want to call it, the treasure puzzle, which is not really complicated, but I made it more complicated because I love it. Yeah, you're going to want your Pikmin. If I could maybe get two spicy sprays out of this, two spicy sprays would be good. I think I killed all the sheer grub wigs, enemies, whatever. And they seemed like they they seemed to grab the berries right away. But you saw when I did the episode in the uh, when I did the episode in the water, and they were trying to grab berries. They were not very good at it. If you know what I'm saying? Okay, Pikmin, uh, you're not going the path of least resistance here. <laughs> not sure what's happening, but yeah. So what's probably going to be my mo here? is I will, um, you know, we grab this treasure. This episode is not the most exciting, I understand, for all of you, unless somebody's watched this, like, you know what, I love when he collects one treasure and struggles with a puzzle, then that's for you, obviously. But I'm gonna try to grab as many of these spicy sprays as possible. I would love these things to kick back and rejuvenate. But yeah, as far as I know, this is it. Like, we've, uh, we really nailed it. I don't think we need more blues, but just in case. Actually kind of curious about our overall totals. I uh, think the game will tell me that. What does this say? Okay, not bad. I feel like we have the least amount of yellows now, maybe? Right? Eh, no. I mean, yeah, I mean, we almost have double the amount of blues. It doesn't, it honestly doesn't matter. We have a good enough amount of all the kinds that we need. All right, what, excuse me. You're almost at the finish line. You're just going to abandon ship on that delicious bitter spray. All right. Do we have... Oh, boys. Hurry. Hurry. Climb that shaft immediately. Okay. So what do we have here? Woo. The massage girdle. Massage your nuts. Good idea. Okay. We got the nice cute end of the day music. And yeah, as you can hear from that sound, we've gotten all the treasures. And I don't know how many more berries we need left for another spicy spray or bitter spray. We need 10. I'm yeah, probably not gonna have time for that because we only have the one, the one plant. That's okay. But you'll want a, a decent amount of the, um, the amount of bitter sprays. I mean, maybe I'll start my day tomorrow with the bitter spray gatherings, but I doubt it. I don't think these Pikmin are going to be able to get it back in time. Which doesn't matter at this point. I mean, we have four. And there may be opportunities in the moment to... Um, let's whistle everybody. This is a hundo. Yep. There may be opportunities in the actual dungeon itself to make that happen. It's the one dungeon that when I play this game, it makes my butthole pucker the most of all of them. So just something to, to think about. Yeah, there's the final treasure. All the prep is done for the final dungeon, the submerged castle, which we will interact with next time. With the unbeatable enemy, very scary. 
and we can only take blue Pikmin. So wrap your head around that one. What you think will be happening in that cave the next time we come back. The final trip to the perplexing pool. So if you're a big perplexing pooler, I don't know what to tell you. We've almost finished the, uh, the game though, so pretty great. There you go. So we made a little bit more blue, a little bit more red. And a message from the big boss man. Oh, as well, I'll soon be able to bid farewell to this fugitive lifestyle. It's strange, but I think I may miss it a little. It feels good to survive incredible hardships, right? All that trickle down. Okay. And we're just going to continue on. So we'll be able to take a quick look at our check mark, our flag for the above ground treasures of the perplexing pool, which is 100% done now. We're going to finish the perplexing pool. We'll do the final dungeon, the submerged castle. And then we will be moving back into the... Um, no, the Valley of Repose, where we actually started. So um, we'll be going there um, the episode after this, once we finish the perplexing pool, which is good. And we'll be clearing out some of those areas and moving on to two of the actually hardest dungeons in the game. The Valley of Repose is really, really tough. So we'll worry about that next time. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 2. If you enjoyed this, if you could like the video, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time for some very watery, dangerous shenanigans. Bye.